Well, welcome. This is Pastors Pondering. I'm Pastor Phil, and we're here at St. Paul's United Church of Christ here in Wausau, Wisconsin. And this is a very, very cold winter day. Most of January has been very nice, but of course, as we come to the end of January, here comes that cold weather. But along with that comes light. You notice the days are getting a little bit longer. A lot of people don't do well with darkness. And a lot of times, even the darkness around us, the physical darkness outside, brings about all kinds of emotional uh, responses from all of us. And, and I have to admit, I don't, I don't really particularly like the, the dark either, but I, I think I've been traumatized maybe as, as a kid because when I was a kid, we always had, to, or I had to get the hay down from the hay barn. I'm, I'm a farm kid. And we had a sheep buck, that's what they call a ram those days, a sheep buck, and his name was Harry. Well, Harry um, used to just lay for you, and he would just watch you and like to get behind you and just bump you right in the butt and you'd go flying. So I was kind of terrified of Harry, frankly, and I can remember being a kid, I'd always look behind as I, as I exited the barn door to make sure Harry wasn't lingering around someplace and uh, would be after me. And uh, when this one particular day, I looked really cautiously, didn't see Harry, made a run for the hay barn, which I had to go outside for. As I'm running around, there he stood. And sure enough, he was after me. And I remember getting to the door and bang, he hit the end of the door. Um, it wasn't my butt, but it was the door. So um, as a result, I think I've been traumatized for life, maybe. And I'm um, really not necessarily fond of the darkness, which leads me to think about our lesson that I've chosen today. It, it's from Isaiah. It says, the people who walk in the darkness have seen a great light. They lived in the land of the shadows, but now light is shining on them. You have given them great joy, Lord. You have made them happy. They rejoice in what you have done. We all need to find light in our lives. We all, we all need to have happiness. We live in a culture that these days seems to be just very critical of everyone and everything always. You know, my, my mom, who is the, the great person of old saying, said, you know, if you can't say something nice about somebody, don't say it at all. And, and I have really tried all my life to, to live up to that old saying, and I, I really do do not do that, I mean, or, or do do that. I don't say anything at all then. But these days, it seems like people feel they have the, the right to express their, their concerns and their issues, no matter how hurtful or harmful that might be. And so uh, as I, I ponder this a little bit today, I'm just thinking, you know, we just simply need to learn to be a little bit better people, a little bit nicer to, to everybody that we come in contact with. I think that Jesus is really, uh, this is Isaiah reading, of course, but I think that Jesus is also referring to that when he says, don't hide your light under a bowl or under a bushel. So what does that mean? Well, I think it means letting your kindness, letting your compassion, letting your empathy show to all people. Another old saying my mom used to always say, don't judge a person until you walk the mile in their shoes. Well, it's awfully easy to be critical of people if we don't really understand or if we've not been in that position. And frankly, we're a very blessed people. So for the most part, we really don't understand. So what I'm really thinking today as we're just pondering this thought is just simply this. We need to be nicer people. Just as simple as that. What's wrong with saying please and thank you? What's wrong with holding a door for somebody? What's wrong with saying, you look nice today? I, I don't know what's wrong with those things these days, but it seems that it's not the way we, we function anymore. So um, let's take that light of kindness, of grace, forgiveness, most especially of love and just let it shine and let it show and let people know that Jesus lives right here in our hearts. 
be with me for just a short prayer. Wondrous God, we thank you for the blessings you've given us. Part of that blessing is living in a part of the country where um, we're all pretty nice to each other most of the time. Help us to open our eyes to a world and a community that needs to hear about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and needs to experience love all of the time. Help us be a conduit of that love. Amen. Well, that's what I'm thinking this week. And next week, we're heading to St. Valentine's Day. So that's kind of why I'm thinking about love. And we'll be talking about that just a little bit more. But um, have a great week. Go out there and make a difference in somebody's life today and do something really kind. Thanks for joining me and see you later. Bye.